Hey, this is me, Chase on Chase TV again. And today in this video, we have another Turf War video. So, Max, what is so special that you want to show us? You have secret top tip. You have a bunch of secret top a bunch of top secret pro tips that you want to share with us that will increase our camping skills within seconds? Wow, um, that's a surprise. Now it's not just a plain old turf war video. Wow, thank you, Max. You are, wow. So, secret number, he said one. Yep, secret. Yeah, secret number one. Look out for, well, subs and use subs. Most people think of subs as useless things that shouldn't have been added to the game. And all they do is just get rid of your ink in your ink tank and make things even worse than they already were for you. So we're going to mark that wrong because it is. Subs can be used to be splatting campers and to help campers splat enemies. For example, you can stick bombs right in the corner and right when an enemy jumps off, they, the bombs would blow up. This takes ludicrous timing, but I guess I could say it's worth the squid flopping. Yeah, and by the way, as I mentioned, the Emmy wouldn't even notice. But the Emmy could sneak a bomb or anything right by you, and you might not even notice. Here's a trick to to stop that from happening. The trick is to be aware of your surroundings. Be able to look as met yeah in as many places as possible within one screen click. For example, if an episode or two ago, I yeah, basically I was in this stage and I was camping somebody and I got free spots. The spawn area, uh, side area, and then our side area. And this is the exact stage. Well, you know what? Let me show you the spot that I used. To make it easier, I'll use it on in this area. Right here. Right here. Nobody goes here. Yep. Right here. You have the view of that side, the view of that side, and the view of that side. But then again, somebody could come up here. So every, yeah, and then again, and yeah, like I was saying, an enemy can come up here and splat you. So every once in a while, look behind you. But of course, stay in squid form. Secret number two, we may have already used this one. Use the walls. The walls can be perfect. Yeah, like you can see, the Emmy was right there in the middle. The Emmy didn't even notice me. Ow. Yeah, I could just splatted the enemy with ease without the Emmy not even knowing what's coming. See, next secret. S spot switch. Spot switches can be the most important things for campers. You know how every time you splat somebody, the person who gets splatted gets to see your gear and where you are and what you look like and stuff like that. Which can give away your camping spot. Which can make for more campers and it can make for even worse strategies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this can make for even worth, yeah, this strategy causes and mostly result, bad results. So next time when you who try and kill, camp someone, camp an enemy or something, 
watch it when you splat them. Because as soon as you splat them, they're going to see where you are and what you have. And stuff like that. So, you'll need to do this at the ludicrous timing. That meaning as fast as possible. This can barely p be pulled off. But if so, it can, it will be worth the wait. Ha! For example, that sub just wrecked the Emmy. Subs can be very good. Yep. The element of surprise. The element of surprise is what camping is always about. Attacking and splying someone when they don't even know what just hit them. So you've got to keep that camping element of surprise advantage to yourself. Like so, change spots every once in a while. And once you splat people, move in your color ink and run away or just Pretend you're doing like that normal thing that turf wars do. Just like spray out ink and try and splat our enemies. And once you, well, splat all, and once there's no enemies and no enemies are looking at your stuff, then you can go back into hiding. By the way, have I mentioned once the enemy sees your hiding spot, they'll try and do the same as you. So just know that. Once you splat your enemy, they may as well try and do the same. But then again, if they never tried camping before, they would do the same spot as you. So just know that. It could be on either sides. Just know, they may do it on you. I have seen several People teach other camp people how to camp. I even taught some people some hiding spots back in the day when I didn't know all these secret pro tips. Yep, back in the day when I didn't know all these secret pro tips, I you don't even know how many people I taught how to camp. I taught like hundreds of people hide spots because I didn't know to keep my distance away. I didn't know, yeah, back then when I was camping like that, I didn't know to basically make sure my hide spots were hidden. Yeah, you need to make sure, yeah. So when you're camping, make sure you hide your spots. You don't want the enemy to know where you are. I mean, that can be a very bad disadvantage. Yeah. yeah, and also another pro tip number. Oh, wait, I forgot how many pro tips I said. Yep. Next secret pro tip. Use your sub abilities. Sub abilities can be a very important thing for helping camp somebody, for helping with regular daily schedules, for in battling, or helping to stop from being camped. These sub-abilities can come in very, very handy. For example, Ninja Squid is the black squid icon. The black squid icon is a miracle for players who don't want to be camped. Because what Ninja Squid does that players that don't want to be camped like, this is what it does. It makes it so that in squid form you're invisible. It makes it so that when you're swimming through ink, you could have been seen. It makes it so that if I had ninja squid, that person would have saw me and wouldn't have splied me. Yep. 
Next one. Use the terrain to your advantage. I mean, did you see how that girl hid behind that block and then came out with a full power bow cry? Yeah, use the terrain to your advantage. I mean, the terrain can be amazing, especially the knowledge in the back. Gotta tell you. Yeah, for example, more abilities that you could have to help you not get camped is the are quick super jumps, which can make it so that you super jump so quick that the enemy may have false a shot and you may be able to be quick enough to get away. That does the same for quick swim, squid swimming and very quick, quick speed running in regular form. Although speed running in regular form doesn't mean that much. But I guess I can say jumping means it. Yeah, next secret pro tip. This can go for all players. All players can get the advantage by jumping, jabbing, slamming their thumb on me, on B. That B is a miracle of a control button. It allows you to jump, which doesn't just increase your aim, it also can get that one hit kill that you always wanted, and it can also do another thing. It can make it so that you can shoot farther range when you jump, and also, there's another thing. When you jump, there's a chance of you dodging the enemy's attack. Although that chance is pretty slim and it involves ludicrous timing, it could still work. And it's a miracle when it does. What is that person's swim speed? See, that person can't meet. She or he knew where I was coming. She knew where I was coming. She used her knowledge of the map. She just waited for me to come by. And I was, for some weird reason, being dumb. I don't know why I've been, have just been dumb there. I don't know why I just put it down. See, that person had quick super jump or something like that. And she was able to camp me with ease. That person is really good. She has to, I have to admit, her gaming experience is very great. I mean, her gaming experience is incredible. It's beautiful. Which leaves her as an amazing Splatoon player. Because one of the reasons is her gaming knowledge. She knows how to get to me. She's a pretty smart person. I can't lie. Person does the backstabbing trick. And I do the backs. She did the burst bomb to get me an Emmy Inc. She knows I'll come through the. She knows I'll come through the our way, but luckily my friend comes in and he saves my life. Otherwise, I would have died. Yeah, her burst bomb skills are amazing. She, that person, is a is a. It shows why the subs are not useless. That person so showed how subs are not useless. She used the burst bomb to get me an enemy ink, which I don't even know how many this, which is like indescribable on how many disadvantages that was. This but is a whole stinking lot of disadvantages. And then she could get me with ease. 
then, once I was in Ami Inc. See, her strategy is pretty good. And she has the right carbon roller. To get me with ease. Really, I have no... Yeah. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these secret pro tips. Leave a like, comment down below, other stuff. Subscribe and hit the bell notification. So now, bye.